I am so glad to be in his service one more time. I pray that you also likewise are glad to be found in the house of the Lord. Did I say the house of the Lord? Amen. Where the presence of the Lord is, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And we are at liberty to give God praise. Come on, somebody. Nobody got to force me. I am ready to give. Oh, this looks good. Give God praise. And so we do greet you. Those of you joining in the anointed Zoom room, Deaconess Nancy, those of you joining in the anointed Zoom room, and those of you that are going to catch the flow of the anointing there on social media, we are so glad that you've joined us live or that you may join us later for the replay, or you may see us on Swim TV 24. We welcome you to Shekinah Worship Center, our Zoom service Sunday night. Amen. It's good to be here and it's good to slow down and give God praise. We greet you in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and according to the end time signs, our soon coming King. And listen, if he don't come soon enough for what we think, we're going to him soon enough. So one way or the other, we are ready Amen. We are blessed and we are ready to give God praise. We greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. The three in one, we are covered. There is no better insurance. There is no better presence than the presence of God. If you don't know him, oh my goodness, you don't know what true liberty and true joy is about. So one more time, as I said, we uh, greet you in the precious name of Jesus. And I tell you what, we are just yet thankful for what God is revealing in his word and what he will reveal tonight. How about that? Amen. Well, we also, before I forget, give honor to our covering Bishop Jacqueline E. McCalla and the Beth Rafa family and the Rafa Alliance of Pastors. We give you all a shout out. We are so glad to be in relationship with you. And Bishop was in the house. Literally, she was at our church today. So I know she's feeling some sort of way. Amen. We give God praise. Well, we are going to invite our Reverend Stephen Trot, and he is going to open up in prayer. Reverend Stephen, God bless you. God bless you, Pastor. Let us all look to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come one more time in no other name but in the name of Jesus, Lord. We, we thank you, God, for another day, oh God. You've just allowed us to see, Lord God, to be in the land of the living, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for just another opportunity, oh God, to, to be in your service, oh God. We pray right now, oh God, everything that, is, oh God, is set, oh God, to, to be spoken tonight, oh God, will be in your name's honor, oh God, and glory, oh God, will come to you, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, for this Zoom room, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that even help us to open up our ears, O oh God. Open up, O oh God, our soul, O oh God, just to take in everything that you have for us, O oh God. O oh God, that will be good, O oh God, to be, O oh God, in your presence, O oh God, once this service is done, O oh God, but never away from your presence. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for the speaker of the hour, Lord God. We pray. Oh God, a special anointing upon her. Oh God, we thank you for Reverend Lightborn. Oh God, we pray, oh God, that you will just touch her fresh, oh God. We pray, oh God, everything, oh God, that you've downloaded in her, oh God. Oh God, let it come course, oh God, with clarity, oh God. Let it come course with, oh God, power, oh God, and authority, oh God, which you've given unto her. Oh God, let us hear, oh God, from you tonight that we might be able to take it, oh God, and be doers of your word. Lord, we just thank you again, oh God, and we commit this service, oh God, into your hands. Have your way, oh God. Do what you want to do, oh God, in this service. Change someone's life tonight, oh God. We pray that, oh God, that you, oh God, get all the glory, and you will get all the honor, and you will get all the praise. And this we ask in no other name, but it's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. Amen there. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Stephen Trot. For that prayer, indeed, we are anticipating what God will say through his servant, through his holy word. 
We also want to acknowledge our elders, our deacons, our members, uh, this from Beacons for Christ Ministry, our Pastor Randy Lightborn, RIT Sister Stacy, Can, RIT Sister Laquita, Otter Bridge. Just a good thing to have you all on board. God bless everyone. This I see and this I don't see. Uh, you may not have your camera on, but I want to acknowledge that you are in the room and let's just worship God together. I believe that we have already begun to set the atmosphere for the week. Well, let's continue. We're not finished yet. We are yet set in the atmosphere. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask our, all right, our elder, Reverend Dr. Wendy Woods. She is going to lead us in tonight's scripture, Doc. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, family. This evening's scripture reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 6 through 8. Here beginneth the reading of God's most holy word. The voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely, the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Thank you there, Elder Reverend Dr. Woods, for the reading of God's word. That is a heavy heavy portion of scripture you know the flower fades grass withers you know. only what we do for christ will last i, I don't want to preempt the preacher i'm just saying we will not be here forever if jesus tarries hmm wow and you know where we put people right right under the grass that's what we do nevertheless 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 um Deaconess, are you ready with the acapella? If not, because, uh, you know, I was going to call on Dr. Woods. I said, listen, just, just come on, Doc, sing, sing, sing. But seeing as you're ready, Doc, just be grateful. Well, I don't even know if you'd be grateful. Could have been the anointing so heavy on her. Yes, she is ready. But um, <laughs> Deaconess Kathy, come on and bless us. Um, this song is Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks for he has given Jesus Christ, his son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, Deaconess. Beautiful. 
Give thanks. Amen. Give thanks. Let the weak. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Let the weak say, I am strong. And they're not saying they are strong of themselves. They are saying, in Christ Jesus, I am strong. Let the poor, poor in spirit, poor in the gospel of Jesus Christ, let them say they are rich. That's the only time the poor can be rich. Because the poor are going to remain poor. And Jesus said, the poor you're always going to have with you. They're always going to be here. But they can be rich, richer than the wealthiest person in the world. And I need for us to understand that. Is that the richest in Christ Jesus trump anything, anything, anytime. God bless you again, Deaconess. And thank you for being so um, easy and smooth operating. You just came through and we appreciate that beautiful, beautiful song. Amen. Wow. Wow. We're getting there, folks. Introduction of the speaker, myself. So the one we have who will be presenting uh, the message this evening, this night, <laughs> is certainly no stranger to any one of us. I've known uh, Reverend Eunice for a good 18 years, 19 years, and apparently we're cousins. I mean, not the Bermuda, hi cousins. I mean, really cousins. And um, <laughs> it's good to meet another square person. <laughs> you have to figure that out. Amen. It's always good. A faithful friend. All right. Um, one that has not been one I've had to guess concerning. That's, that's a good thing, folks. And she is a founding member of Shekinah Worship International Ministries. Shekinah Worship Center, Bermuda. Only she on the screen, I believe, can remember that Sunday when we were homeless and we met in Bars Park. They say, where in the world will God have us to be on this Sunday? And we're glad that God worked it out. Amen. He kept on working it out. And here we are today at Shekinah Worship Center, 98 North Shore Road. Look at what the Lord has done. Amen. Look at what the Lord has done. And it's not about people because people have come and they have gone. It is about God's purpose. And so Reverend Eunice, I just want to say personally, um, this is a truth that I appreciate. And that is that I have never, and I said never, have had to doubt. Now, is, is she on my side? Is she running with me? You know, what's it? Mm -mm. Never, 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 never. And, and let me say this. Sometimes I've had to tell her to ease up on other people and just take the blue. See, some of you don't know that. <laughs> Times I know she was mistreated. I said, don't you worry. You just, you just be you. Worship and praise and just protect the little lambs. You're, you're a big girl. So there are some things. We won't tell all the story, but we know. And I'm just so proud of you, Eunice. Look at what God, we didn't see this in 2006. What in the world? We didn't know, we were, what? We didn't know what was going to happen the next week. But God knows. <laughs> and so a faithful friend and no, broke my heart. I, I, what is the Lord doing when God had her to move from Bermuda? I cried like a baby. I sure did. I sure did. I said, let me get out to all the cries, all the cries right now, because after that, I need to just roll and move on. To have a best friend and to be like, ah, there they go again. Not a good feeling. But lo and behold, it was the plan of God. Now, you think I would know better. You think I would know better. But God had increased. And that's where I honor her husband, our pastor of Beacons for Christ ministry. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Pastor Randy Lightborn. Oh, my Lord. I wouldn't be missing this for the world. You see, if I had let my soulish ram, I, it could have destroyed me. But I just said, Ooh, get over this, Maria. You got a church to lead. And God will heal your heart. And not only did he heal my heart, he took it to another level. Faithful friend, 
faithful worshiper, faithful witness. Eunice, Eunice doesn't even need a church. I promise you there are some Sundays she's running up and down her house during service. I prom I promise you. You look at that, Pastor Randy say, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Trust you me, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much, folks. Because you see when she comes into <laughs> Shekinah Worship Center, you all know you're like, how long this can be? Let's time her. Okay, there you go. I say all of this to testify of the type of person we have who's about to bring forth the word. She is the wife of our pastor, Randy Lightborn. She's the mother of Joshua. And she is devoted. I have, this woman is devoted. I guess that's the good thing. That means if she's your friend, it's for real. Reverend Eunice, God has spoken a word to you, to your heart. And we ask that you would indeed deliver that word in fullness so that we can be a better people. I can be a better pastor after all is said and done. Now, I did not ask prior, as I keep on forgetting to do, are you praying? Is your husband praying? Am I praying? Just Pastor Randy. I saw that. I could read some lips sometimes, Pastor Randy. Church, <laughs> we are about to be blessed. Hopefully, she doesn't run off on her own during our own preaching. That's what we don't want to happen. I'm like, where are you in the first speaker? Okay. So with that in mind, folks, let's welcome our Pastor Randy Lightborn to pray for his wife at this time. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, Pastor. Let us pray. Father God, we give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. Lord, I bring my wife, my friend, Reverend Eunice, Lord God, to you right now. Asking God that you will continue the work that you have begun in her, God. As she takes the position of Mary, Lord God, as you say it, so let it be, God. What you have laid on her heart, God, I pray that, God, so let it be. Continue to bless her and let your anointing rest on her, God. Order her steps as she brings forth the word that you have seeded into her spirit. Bless all those that hear it tonight, God, and may they be encouraged. Take your servant Eunice and use her to your honor and glory. I ask in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Randy. Thank you, Pastor Seaman. And thank you, Elder Duck, for eloquently reading the scripture for me this evening. Hallelujah. This is a heavy weight. The minute you put on the collar, it's like, Lord, have mercy. Help me, Lord. But I thank God for answer prayer. First, giving honor and glory unto God, the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit. I honor our Bishop, Reverend Dr. Jacqueline E. McCullough, and unto our covering pastor, the Reverend Dr. Maria A. Seaman, hallelujah, and have Elder Ken Seaman to the executive team, the ordained ministers, deacons, leaders, and my Shekinah family, hallelujah. I also honor my pastor and husband, Reverend Randy Lightborn, Reverence in training, beacons for Christ family, hallelujah, and my family and friends who have joined. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. 